Hello, everyone, and welcome into Disc and Deals coverage. You're watching round one, front nine of the second annual Foxtail Farm Championship. I'm Lucas Deal, joined by the man himself, the owner of Foxtail Farm, Mr. Cooper Arnold. This is Foxtail Deal Commentary. How are you, Coop? Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. And we got a lot of people we need to thank. Um, tournament director Michael Kruger came up. MK doing the thing. Drone operator, my wife, catch cam, Kendra deal, course prep. Got to give a shout out to Matt Jenkins and all of the sponsors. BKS, Artisan Ales, Tech Disc, Dynamic Disc of Kansas City. And we got Kevin Simpson, Bob Goodwin, Quentin Shaw, Dan Bells, and of course, the title sponsor of the coverage, Under Par Apparel Company. Thank you all for making this happen. And let's look at who we got playing today, Coop. Yeah, let's check it out. We got John Jones. He's not actually sponsored by Twisted Tea, although he should be. He wanted to shout out his wife, Kristen, and his dog, Coach Bo. Isaac Heinen at Overland Park. Wanted to give a shout to Tech Disc. Super smooth player. Can't wait till you guys see him. Michael Babbitt, one of the nicest people you will meet out of Kansas City, repping IDEO, IDEO Shoes, who he says is the best shoe company out there. And young Landon Carver, only 16 years old, just won the club championship in Kansas City. This dude is a baller. Not currently sponsored, but I'm sure that changes soon. Yeah, Jumping into hole so. one, Coop. Here we go. Uh, Foxtail Farm starts off pretty challenging. Hole one is one of the hardest holes, played the fourth hardest in the first day. Uh, you want to throw a shot that either lands about where we're at right there or a little further in this first landing zone. And then you got to carry this uh, out of bounds waste area right here. Plays natural out of bounds, so if you never carry in bounds, you're throwing again from back there. You could start your tournament with an eight here really, really quickly. So I bet these guys are going to try to avoid that at, at, at all costs. Yeah, and we got a fantastic card. So hopefully no huge numbers out there today. The weather was absolutely beautiful on this Saturday. And we got oh, John Jones bones on the box first. Yeah, this is perfect scoring conditions out here. Slight uh, south wind, which is coming off of their right shoulder over here. Um, but really very, very mild compared to what it can be. And Kendra's out there at catch cam. She missed this one. She's not feeling well. And so shout out to her for even being here. Um, John threw a Calvin Destroyer. He, he pumped it pretty far down there. This is going to be a buzz out of Isaac. Yeah, and I, Isaac's one of the longer throwers in Kansas City. So he likes to hit this buzz out here, 320, 350 or so, and then see about his big forehand on the second shot probably. Oh, and that's a that's a really good location right there. He should have a good option at the forehand there. Yeah, being up on the side of the hill there, got the flat footing, perfect place to be. Yeah, other than the out of bounds on this hole, the really the the big miss you can't have is being on the side of that dam because you're not going to be able to, you can get over, but it's just going to be very challenging. And Landon's playing the layup drive right there, which I actually really like gives you a much it's a longer shot on your second one but it's a much straighter shot. You can almost see the pen over there. Yeah, and so that was a AVRX3 out of Landon, and here's Mr. Babbitt. And uh, if Isaac's one of the longest throwers in Kansas City, Michael Babbitt is the longest thrower in Kansas City. He throws 550 on a rope. Yep, and here, yeah. you called it. He's going for the forehand here over the water. A little bit down. He's not super happy with it, but he gets to the middle of the fairway. If you start with a four on this hole, you're not upset. You've survived. You, you keep going here. And this is what you're kind of talking about on the side of this hill. This is a tougher shot for Babbitt here. Absolutely. Yeah, it, he would like to be able to do a run up there, but he's, he's forcing the standstill. And he gets across to where he can get up and down from there. Oh, the grenade. Interesting. Yeah, grenade out of Isaac. I, I like this play. That's a good up and over. It, it's probably a little shorter than he wants, but I think he's happy with a four still. And John Jones doesn't have much of a forehand. He can throw it as a utility shot, but he's throwing a big turnover roller here by the looks. Yeah, a uh, big turnover roadrunner, and that thing is beautiful. Ooh, 
cooked just, just out of bounds. Passed, though. That's the that's the challenge on that turnover too. If you don't get the the pace exactly right, you're going to be long on it. Oh, 65 feet or so for Michael Babbitt. Mm-hmm. He puts it right there. Mm-hmm. Babbitt plays the course a lot, yeah. Oh yeah, he's been been coming out about once a week uh, for the last couple months. He likes to do a lot of training out here, and that's one that could definitely. Isaac's uh, starting a little conservative there. That's that's what I call Isaac range. He's one of the longest putters in Kansas City. He's always good for one or two big ones around. Big putt for the kid. Almost gets it. And yeah. The, and it stays too. This hill, this basket's on just a slight little slope right there. And you can take a you can get an extra 20, 30 feet on that next putt you don't want to have to, to have to have. So he's back edge, he's about 35 feet, just lays it up there. Well, yeah. I think he want I think he wanted to run it, but <laughs> I think this this green is pretty frightening in my mind. It it's the it for my mind it's the scariest one out here. And it's it's a little more subtle than some of the other ones, but I don't know. I, I this one gives me nightmares. Yeah, there's some roll away potential. I was giving John a hard time. He was in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. gonna take a bogey, and we should have a par for the rest of these guys. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's the fourth hardest hole uh, on the round, averaged uh, over a half stroke over par. So that's that's not bad scoring out of the lead group or the feature card there. Hole two here uh, is an island hole. Uh, all of this area is short of the creek that we're flying right now is safe. You can throw a, a layup approach up here to 40 feet if you get really aggressive, 50, 60 feet if you lay off it a little bit and still make a long putt for a birdie. Um, I would be surprised if any of these guys are doing that. Most of them are probably going green hunting, trying to stick the island on the other side over here and just get the easy birdie and keep rolling. This is one of the, it's about middle of the pack for difficulty. Um, you're going to see a lot of twos and a lot of fours on this. And then if you throw a, a shot that's almost right, you might get lucky and still save a, save a three here by being able to chip up on it. Looks like a buzz again for Isaac. Yep. Gonna go with that same buzz he went with on one. Mm -hmm. I think that can happen a little bit on this course. You find a disc that you really like and you can throw straight. Ooh, just mm -hmm. knocked out of bounds. Uh, if you if you find a disc that you're liking and you're throwing well, you just kind of keep throwing it as much as you can. What's Landon throwing here? Uh, AVR X3. Oh, putter can definitely do it, but he's playing the layup by the looks. Nice. Yeah, perfect spot. Yeah, those flags right there we saw are the, the drop zone. So if you go out of bounds here, you got to play from there until you get an island lie. Well, if you throw if you throw again from out of bounds, you get to advance. But Michael Babbitt is throwing the stand up, standstill approach also. Yep, link. So he went safe. Mm -hmm. And then he did hook up. So he's in a safe position. Just doesn't have the, the best look for the birdie. But you can yeah. manufacture something. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you'd like to be a little more squared up there, but even for being one of the easier holes or middle pack holes on the course, it, you're not unhappy with a par, which I'll probably be saying quite a bit because most of the holes out here, you're not unhappy with a par. John goes left side, you know, just uh, knocked out of bounds there. Yeah, I think that was an early release, honestly. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's a healthy bid right there, Landon. Yeah. That was really good. He put he puts with a PA one. I tell you that that kid's got some somewhere to go. He's he's real good. Oh, no Missed. question about it. That's Isaac Range right there. Oh yeah, mm, he called just it. Nickled it. Yeah. <laughs> and John, I I realized has this really large hyzer release when he puts, um, but it definitely works for him. Yeah. Yeah, he likes throwing that that big old dagger right there with the the super deep dish and one of the more unique putts I think you see, but he makes it work really well. Yeah, he does. Oh yeah, Michael has a look right there. If he can get it. Oh, that was a good bid too. Uh huh. Just off right. that box elder branch right there. This little tap in right here. There you go. Another tap in. Looks like a couple, couple pars, couple bogeys there. Yep. Feature card starting with some fireworks <laughs> in the wrong yeah. direction. I notice uh, 
you know, you you learn people's mannerisms when you record them. And Isaac does this like face every time he puts. He like purses his lips together. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really and he blows out his cheeks. It's really funny to me. So yeah. if if you've never looked at it, um it if you're ever having a bad round, I think if you just watch him putt one time, it might cheer you up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's part just part of the thing that gets him. I mean, he's one of the best putters you'll see, and I think that's that's part of his routine that just kind of gets him into it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Yep. So as you mentioned, couple bogues, couple pars, and we're into three. Into three, and we're into one of the the second easiest hole on the course. This is this is one these guys definitely want to get. Uh, you got to beat this gap we're flying through right here. That tall grass on the right's out of bounds. I got a little flower garden I did with my girls right here on the left by those stumps. That's a little out of bounds if you tickle those cedars on the way through. And then you got to kind of control your pace coming in here. The basket's raised up on the backside of a mound. So if you're if you're cooking through here, you'll probably be out of bounds long and have 45, 50 feet up the hill and and you know something that's real tough to save there. But this is one. It's only 270. It's just a straight shot your straightest disc, a rock, a putter, whatever it is that you can get in there and, and try to get close to it. And I'm going to guess that's a rock. It is. You called it. He got through. Uh-huh. Oh, and just, just tickled just, the tree there. And that's a good shot, man. Yeah, absolutely. That, that bushy stuff right in front, there's a walnut log that we dragged over uh, to kind of block the low uh, blazing shot through there. So you got to have a little bit of height on it. Um, and he, he got around the right side, which is one of the better ways, I think, for a righty backhand to attack this is kind of br- coming in the right side and just fading back into the hill. That's de- Oh, that's a great shot right there. Let's see. Isaac's switching up from the buzz here. What's he got now? Another buzz? <laughs> A different buzz. You're right. <laughs> Isaac was sponsored by Discraft for several years, and I think this is one of the discs that will probably never leave his bag. He just, if he's got a buzz in his hand, it usually goes well. And he, that that log right there, he's going to be just inside the circle. And with the drop off on this, it's one you really have to try to go for, but you just get a little bit scary looking at it because you know if you miss, you're going to have a real fun comeback. Streamline pilot out of out okay. of bones. Nice. Oh, oh hit perfect one of them bl- spot. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's see. Is he going for this one? It looks like it. Yeah, I don't think he... Oh, oh good. That was a great... He's Bones a very, very aggressive putter. Yeah, he he doesn't he doesn't know layup very much. See those fronds up there wiggling just a little bit, but it's really... it's It's not bad compared to what it can be out here. Yeah, and Isaac switched to the straddle and knocked it in. That's a great put. He probably had to switch because we didn't weed eat that stump all summer because it had some beautiful flowers on it, and now it's just kind of annoying and bushy, and we left it to be annoying and bushy. <laughs> probably about 20 feet here for Michael. Uh, just left side. Mm. And that and green's it, scary, but it did roll up safe. Yeah, that's that's one. If you miss it like that, it you could you could be going thirty feet longer. Oh, there you yeah. go, Landon. Go putt. Excellent pace. No mm-hmm. fear on that putt. Yeah. So feature car played that one pretty good. Then, couple birds, couple pars. Sit. About in line. It's it's a uh, second easiest, like I said, on the course, but it's only a tenth of a stroke under, so it's not. Yeah, you're not unhappy with the par. You still want the birdie, just knowing what's coming. Yep. And here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Hole four. <laughs> this is my personal favorite hole on the course. I've never played it the same way twice, and I think that's part of the reason. Uh, left side over there, where you can't see, you can throw a forehand or a turnover putter. A lot of guys end up uh, coming down the middle through here with either, I like an air shot, but you'll see a lot of rollers come through here. Um, Jose Osa in this round actually got a roller all the way to uh, about 25 feet and cashed an eagle on this hole. Ooh. As uh, I've never seen it done, never heard of it done, but it's always been kind of the thing where every every time you bring a group through, they're like, has anybody ever put a roller on this? And it's definitely possible. And now, now we know we've seen it. 
But yeah, so you get up there on that shelf and then you got this big old downhill. The creek right there behind it's all out of bounds too. So if you're coming in a little too hot, you can definitely find some extra trouble. So Landon's taking this forehand over here. And I should have cut that for him, but I didn't get to it. That's okay though. He's going to be in plenty good spot. Yep, he was right in that landing zone. Perfect. Mm -hmm. For my mind, I think that's the cleanest way to play this hole is throw a forehand over there and then you're presented with two options. You got to straight down the tunnel gap, uh, kind of risk an OB, or you can take a skippy backhand. But I can't not throw down the middle like Isaac's doing here. Sets so a roller down is just Didn't fractions of a degree off. Yeah. Yep. He, I think the angle was really good on it. It just sat down uh, five feet right of what it probably needed to. Yeah, I always like to see what people are rolling. That was a surge out of Isaac, and Babbitt's going to go St. Pro for his roller. He's got a lot of juice. I don't think I could roll a St. Pro. <laughs> yeah, me neither. That's but a great that... angle. If that stands up a little bit, oh, keeps cooking. Wow. That got he way down there. Going. He yeah, did I was going to say. Inches. I mean, this was so close. Mm -hmm. but he was he was just ob that was an awesome yeah. roller yeah that's that's fractions of a degree on that from from in and up almost where jose's was or if it hit a tree i mean he could have a 70 foot putt at it too this Bones is a road, sky roller yeah road runner and he gets through yeah that's great i think the miss if you're going up the middle here i think the miss is the right side bones is gonna be real happy even if he'd ended up 100 feet shorter, he'd have some some really nice lanes over there. He's throwing the skippy shot. Oh, oh that's a little, bit, little straighter first, and that would have been perfect. Uh-huh. That's such a fun shot to, to watch work when you hit that, and it just barely kisses the top of that hill and pops down. I was just Luna. going air shot with a Luna, you said? Luna, yeah. Yeah. And then Ooh. look at that. That's that's a good little bit of trickle through there. Yeah, that's, probably a little fortunate. Yeah, he might have had a look still, but uh, getting getting down that far is great. Okay, oh, he's down. He's safe. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit of a leave. For sure. Oh yeah, that's a great shot for Bones right there. Just a little floaty putter down. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Got a sit, though. Nice. Perfect. Just stuck it. Oh, right, so boy. Th this is that... where it was. So close. Did he move that disc at all, or that's where it was sitting? Um, that's where it was sitting. He hadn't touched Man, it. Man, that's too bad. That's <laughs> almost perfect. I know. Oh. Hey, and you still <laughs> almost get the birdie on it. You know, I was surprised by this hole. It was the, the easiest hole on the day, which I, I don't think it's uh, easy by any stretch. It's on the short side. It's only 550 or so, 555. Yeah, that was surprising to me, too. I think a lot of it was just uh, no wind on it can can change a lot of how you know people can get a lot further through there with their rollers. or. And I'm sure Jose's eagle helped the score. A little there's, bit, oh, for sure. Isaac Birdie. I mean, that's. Yep. We're, we're gonna potentially see two birdies on the card, which is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, you, you'll usually see at least a bogey. That this hole can be scrambled. It's just it, if, if you mess it up just a little bit, it kind of punishes you. It gets real tricky to approach from some weird spots up there. I think Bones will get this one. Yep. Right there. So birdie, two birds, mm -hmm. a bogey, and then Babbitt with almost an OB birdie. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been cool to see. He's feeling it, getting a little <laughs> head nodding. Go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so hole five right here. We're basically throwing straight into this dark, dark void you see straight ahead. Uh, a lot of players will be throwing a T-Bird flip up or I throw a mid-range kind of flip up flat shot. Um, really just something that you can hit hard and flat and straight. The 
the miss here is you you want to make sure you get to the gap at least so you can have an easy approach if you're short or left this green can be real fun to try to get at pretty sure we're going to see michael babbitt attack a big hyzer here because he's he's got enough power he just kind of plays up into those branches and he, he might get a putt out of it but he also ends up with a lot of threes and i think he's okay with that on this one I think one of the tricky things about this hole is you kind of got to punch it if you're throwing straight. Uh, there's not a lot of height to play with, but you have to throw like a almost a piercing drive on it. Oh, that looks like he's got an MD3 in his hand right there. He sure does. That's that's what I yeah that's what I throw here too. I really like the. It's whatever disc you can kind of throw as hard as you can without really going past the basket. He flipped his just a tad bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is just that little bit of wind out there is is relatively calm, but it's coming from roughly a headwind for him. So throwing that straight shot gets even a little bit trickier here. It's got to keep turning, and that's pretty nice. Oh, oh just hit yeah. it. Hit those leaners. He'll have oh, 80 feet from there. He, he has a chance to make it if he wants to, but it's also... I, I don't know if Bones will, no, Bones knows how to lay up, but we'll I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and you're right, Babbitt. Uh, call on to Kendra, letting her, letting her know that he's going up top. Destroy yeah. her here. I put those branches right there to try to keep people from doing this, but I, I didn't want to completely remove it from the arsenal. He go left there, it looks like. Left, hit the tree, and honestly, it's going to be in the circle. Okay, yeah. See, I think that's kind of what he's playing this one for is a Plinko. He's got enough power. that It's not the cleanest way to get a birdie, but you can almost for sure get a par if you got enough juice. Oh, this is pure. That's beautiful. Is that a rock? This was a T-bird. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was coming in that's with a, a lot of pace. That's a great shot. Yeah, it hits the rocks and stays there. Probably skips OB without it. That's I'm always scared of throwing the fairway on this one just for that reason. The green finishes downhill, and it's easy to get across the creek down there. Oh, this, this disc. One, Do you know about one, this disc? Oh, I know. Yeah, Bones throws some funny stuff. This little <laughs> floppy guy right here sits yeah. and stays. Couldn't roll if it wanted to. Yeah, the interceptor. It's surprisingly stable. <laughs> I guess when when he's gonna lay up, he's gonna bone. When Bones lays up, Bones lays up. <laughs> That's right. Oh, there you go. Great shot got there. It. Yeah. Even that putt. I mean, just from inside the circle, you draw some metal on that one. You're you could roll down. You could roll out of bounds. Like you still got to kind of strike it committed. Couple birdies, couple pars. That's good scoring there. Yeah. It's like someone. Another... Someone with like a lot of intelligence must have put this card together. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to show off all the talent Kansas City's got around here. Bones won last year, so he had to be on. Uh, you flip a coin between Bones and Isaac any day of the week. We got a Disc and Deals double take for this shot by Landon. That's beautiful. So good. And like you said, very fortunate, but that oh, it's a, it's just a right up the rock. Yeah, and then boom. It it could have stuck too. I mean, it was coming in with enough angle. If it if it dug instead of skipping, it still could have stayed good. So hole six here for for my mind, I think the easiest hole on the course, definitely the back half. Uh, that 326 is a little. I mean, it's it's definitely 326, but it plays longer than that. It's slightly uphill and it's another kind of punching shot. Most people are throwing at this gap we're flying through right here. And even at 326, a lot of people are reaching for drivers. It's hard to get past this basket. Uh, if you can control where you're landing, you want to be to the right side of this because it's very open on the right side. Short and left, and uh, you can make them all, but it can be real fun. And, th and then there's this guy. This dude. Yeah, this guy just throwing over everything. This is another, I mean, another one he gets birdies on, but I've tried it a couple times, and I it's not the shot for me. It's you got to have you got to have juice to try this. He left that left. Yeah, that seems like very left. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, he's not going to really have a good look, but it's going to be easy three. Yeah, easy three. This is one that doesn't yield as many bogeys as some of the other holes, but um, you're still not upset with the par. Uh, Just a little overturn there. Yep. But manageable from there. 
manageable for sure. That's one where he's going to want to make sure he's controlling uh, the side he's coming in at. You don't want to leave that soft left and just leave too much meat on the bone. Oh, mm, that's not early. Quite, not quite flipped enough. No, oh, that was a predator. Mm hmm. He called himself a turd directly <laughs> after that. <laughs> uh, it sounds like Isaac. <laughs> And then is Bones throwing a boss here? Bones is going with a boss. You're right. He likes that super wide rim here. and Yeah, just like that. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. That And I think that's that's why a lot of players choose the wide wing there. You just kind of, you, you want to hit about these stumps or a little after these stumps and just slide. Yeah, that was pretty cool. See if he can get to the right side, easy side. Uh, he'll be fine right there. It's a little annoying from there, but it's it's makeable. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. There's a big cluster. It. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's framed. Up. That's about as framed up as you can be on the short side. Yeah, that doesn't look too too bad. And oh. No. Oh, okay. okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> that that would have been in a real annoying roll away. There you go. Good bird. Yep. Back to even for him. Yeah, he He's... started he started bogey bogey. Mm-hmm. So good good fight back. You know, Bones accused me of not putting myself on the lead card because I didn't want to start on hole one, and that's only par partially untrue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's a, a tough start for him starting on that hole. The yep. benefit the benefit for them is the front side of this course is where you want to collect your birdies. So if you can get Ooh. off on a heater, that's good. <laughs> Sneaks one in there. Yeah, little left side. And then Isaac's like, okay, I see why you straddled now, Babbitt. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yep. That, that's a that's about how you'd expect that hole to play for a, a pretty talented group out here. You see one, maybe two birdies, and then pars. Okay, hole seven right here. You're throwing from out of bounds. You got to clear into the opening down here. It's defined by stakes on either side. And then 413, it's decently downhill. Um, so you really got to control pace coming in here. There's an out of bounds creek right behind it. You can't be cooking through here. I find this one to be... The, the gap is big enough, you should make it every time, but then you don't and you get really frustrated with yourself. <laughs> but you gotta make the gap and then you gotta control the, the speed coming through here. And I think this is a, a really interesting challenge to kind of set it down at the right point and not be cruising, because it's not that far past the basket to skip down in that creek area out of bounds. Yeah, yeah it's really close. And you're gonna see a T-Bird 3 here, Halo T-Bird 3 out of, out of bounds. I think that's a kind of a common uh, speed choice for a lot of players here is that seven to maybe nine speed disc. Okay, 60 foot short. Nah, yeah, 40. yeah I'd that, say 50, somewhere right in the between. Yeah, that's one you'll he'll probably give it a good soft bid. But if you hit that basket, you could definitely roll uh, out of bounds is pretty high on that creek line. So it's kind of an unsafe slope behind it. Draco and Draco. Oh, this is when he gets hurt, isn't it? Yeah. Slipped but off you... in front of that T pad. Yeah. And and he... and he just jogs off. You don't even know. <laughs> he didn't say anything to anyone until 18. He yeah. he like he gas he put a gash in his uh in his shin. Yeah, he had to go get stitches and uh get glued back together later that night. <laughs> and that just made me I'm just like, that dude is a man. Uh -huh. I would have been crying immediately. Yep. That's I think that's one of the reason he likes coming out to golf out here is like he's kind of in it for in it for getting not, not beat up, but like in it for the challenge of it. It's a little bit of a mental mental thing too. fight through it and keep keep cracking. Oh, yeah. That was a arrive at a landing and a pretty dang good shot. Yeah, that was nice. And T-Bird at Isaac. Turned over just a tad, though. That's a I, eh, one down. That 
I bet Isaac gives that one a healthy bid. Yeah, that. Yeah, he wants it. <laughs> Let's see if he can uh, knock it down. OB is looming, though. That's a frightening putt. Oh, another tickle. Yeah. Just, just the a, other side. Just a little soft. This is where Bones, Bones can give this a good bid because of how he, he likes to pitch it up enough that mm -hmm. he'll dive back down if he misses. Oh. He, that's a good try. Yeah, hitting band on those baskets is the, the most frustrating thing. Mm -hmm. On the bandless baskets. Oh. oh. <laughs> that have been a good uh, one to capitalize on. Yep. So and land in to save him. There you go. Got it. Good putt, kid. Yeah, that out of bounds from where Isaac's standing right there is only a foot, two feet more. Yeah. That that creek bank is just so steep back there. I'd love to make people play it, but you get wet conditions and you can't. There All you right. go. Good comeback. All right. Looks like Landon's going to have a solo bird on the card and take the lead. There you go. That's good shooting for the 16 year old. He's been on a on a heater lately too, winning a bunch. Oh yeah. And it, this is where the course gets a little bit serious. This is uh the easiest of the next couple holes, but it six it plays a lot bigger than that 640 number. It's 4 4 430 to get to that uh top edge of this circle right here before it gets starts sloping up really bad and then it's only 220 from there, but most guys are still throwing a driver on it plays 340 350 at least and it's a very particular tight shot up the hill i think one of the most important things on this is knowing whether you want to throw a hyzer up at it or whether you kind of want to crank into an ante at it if you want the hyzer you got to be left side if you want to crank an ante you got to be right side on this gap yep and land and go and destroyer so oh. It slipped off the front a little bit. Yeah, and he really turned it. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he'll be okay. I mean, th this is one that doesn't yield a lot of birdies, so if he can commit to getting a par, he's going to be okay there. But it's hard to commit to a par sometimes. Oh, yeah. Boss out of bones. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he's got the... Oh, yeah. Get inside the, the short grass right there, almost right in the middle cut. He'll be pretty happy with that. It'll give him a chance at a, a birdie if he can get the next shot great. Big hyzer out of Michael here. Yep. Ooh, that's a pretty looking shot. Yeah. It's just got to get back left, right in the center. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Yeah. Hey, one of the things I've always liked about watching him throw is it's not just that he throws hard, but he throws committed angles. So like he'll throw an Ian Heiser, a Heiser, but like they're hard and committed. Some guys are really good at one angle or another, but Michael kind of has them all and he commits to them. And oh, that's yeah. a nice shot right there too. A little bit shorter, but yeah, I think in the short grass. Yeah. In the short grass, that'll be within, within Isaac's capability. You'd like to be further, but you don't need to be. Uh, Landon a little pinched and mm. great that, roll though to the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, see if it's see if he can get past it. It's always frustrating to lay up and not commit to the layup, right? See if yes. he can see if he can rebound from that and uh, still save a par there. That looking pretty looking good. A little, uh, a little bit left side. Mm -hmm. It did drop though, but it's going to be interesting footing there. Yeah, and that's he's kind of in a little pocket there. You can scramble from it. It just it is a lot more challenging than you'd like it to be. Oh, that looks like the line. Oh wow! And he's sliding up. He's past the basket. That's tough to do. He's not much <laughs> past, but like it's you you hardly see. Usually birdies come from twenty thirty feet short. It's hard to get past this one. That was a destroyer out of him and. Oops. What's Michael doing here? He's a little bit pinched off on this angle. Looks like he's throwing a hard Anheuser. Yeah, he's going with a Draco, so something that should come back. Oh, that's oh wow. Powerful. Oh, See, and he snuck through? That's, yeah. He th I mean, 
throwing that stable of a disc on that angle. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like him committing to his angle on it. Yes. Oh, that's a great shot from Landon. Yeah. That's one even you get that good bit of luck and some people can't take good luck and they <laughs> they'll throw throw the next shot away just because they feel like they deserved it. Ooh. Oh, that's a good that's a good shot. A little leaner forehand. Mm-hmm. And this is bones for bird. That's a big time birdie right there. Surprisingly, eight was about middle of the pack at the ninth hardest, played point three over par. It's one Rabbit that, with a bird. Man, they're playing this real good. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds. Let's see if he can connect on this par right here. Oh, yeah, that's a little, heck of a scramble. Yeah, that was awesome. And, you know, no overstrokes on, on this hole. That's pretty great. impressive. Yep. There you go. But yeah, we're going into, that... and we're going into a hole that does have a lot of overstrokes. This is this is the hardest hole on the course, <laughs> averaging 0.9 over par, and it's a par five. Your first job is uh, be in the middle. You want to throw whatever you can here down this gap. Uh, I always tell people 200, 400 feet doesn't matter. It's got to be in the middle. So whatever your straight flyer, slight turnover for a righty backhand, um, anything that gets you a, a second chance. And then usually you're going to want to try to get up just short of this cow skull. You get there, you're 120 feet from the basket, but you got this little scramblers gap up here. Lots of kind of sparse trees and options for, for getting to the basket. But the closer you are, the bigger those gaps become. Yeah, this hole is a doozy. This is one I was telling people before the tournament. If you told me I took two sixes on it, I, I would walk away happy. I wouldn't I wouldn't be upset about going bogey bogey. And it would only be losing 0.1 to the field. Yeah. And here's John with his pilot. A little bit right side. Oh, and then a roll to the way right side. Uh-huh. So there's kind of a... a uh, I guess first cut rough gap over there. It's something you can advance, but you can't really advance to good uh, good birdie territory, but it'll give them an option to keep moving forward on it. Oh. Ooh, yanked it a little bit. Yeah, that was and a Saint Pro. Yeah, same size as Bones, but didn't quite get the forward trickle on it. And the left side. <laughs> For it, I think this gap is pretty big, but it's still pretty hard to hit. There's something about it. Like, I think it's uh, really demanding left, right, but it's really demanding height wise, too. And it makes you be real particular at probably not your top speed, which I think is easier for people to hit gaps at top speed. So sometimes asking them to throw a little bit less makes it more challenging. For sure. And Isaac hits a buzz to the middle. That was that, ideal. That's a beautiful shot. He's going to have some options from there. Yeah. What? So land, Landon threw that rock three, and now he's in a tough spot. Mm hmm. Yeah. He at least he kicked to a spot where he can. He's not over in the the dense rough, very far left. He can move forward. Oh wow! Look that at that bend. Big. Wow. That's huge. A little bit of a rollback. Not Which so it bad, might be though. good. Yeah, I think it kind of opened his, his uh, lineup a little bit. Mm -hmm. Definitely keep him with a couple options. There's a left side fairway he can maybe attack to. Oh, no. Yep. Let's see if he can get back on the fairway. I think the thing that's annoying about the side Michael's on over there is all those gaps you look at and you think, I can make that when you're right <laughs> up on them. It, the problem is when you don't make it, you don't advance very far. And Bones with a, is that a Condor? No, what is this disc? This is, I don't know what it is, honestly. I, I think that's one of his Bones stamp Condors. It was a Bones stamp disc. Yeah, I think that, I think those are, are black Condors that he got that you're not probably going to see another guy forehand a Condor. 
and another buzz out of Isaac. Mm -hmm. The flip. Keep it. Ah. Hit that second gap. That's okay, though. This is one, hey, with his drive, you really, as long as you make that drive right, you're hoping for a par at worst at that point, and you're still gaining strokes on people. Bones throwing a little bit faster there. Got through everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. I really like that, throwing a little bit quicker. The The second shot Isaac had throwing the buzz there is interesting, but I kind of like the a little bit faster disc tends to kick forward, and also if it hits the hill, it slides back to the middle better. Yeah, and that one, maybe, oh, it got a well, roll back behind the trees. That's going to be a tricky spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you go past that cow skull, it's just dense rough uh, on the, all that right side approaching the basket, and it can be very challenging to find a way to negotiate. Oh, yeah, Lana's taking the left side. He got up into the dense stuff, it looks like. That is, it's jail there. Yeah. I'm going to let you know now. Yeah. You you know out it's, of experience, but I did not even follow him in there. I'm going to let you know. Yeah, that's not <laughs> a fun place to be. <laughs> Isaac, if he hits this high shot, oh, not a little inside maybe. Yeah, a little inside, then kicked. Uh-huh. And so now he's here. And thinking roller, it looks like. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a that's an interesting spot. If he if he'd thrown that easy pitch up to the cow skull, he could have probably got his par. But now he's really scrambling to get it. The gaps on some of these are just just big enough that they they entice you to go for more than you need to. That is an interesting angle. Oh, oh. good agility. Yeah, that's, great, great, great that's, job. To get out of the way mm -hmm. that's frustrating though yeah this is where i was like take a second brother mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah take a second but then you also you know you pretty much almost had the shot you probably wanted so run it back and let player b do it yeah and so he was still out he struggling a little bit here this hole's he... getting the best of him yep But uh, pretty good approach if that rolls yeah, up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to have a 25, 20 footer somewhere in there. Yeah. And you can see the jail that, here. That is thick. It's amazing he's even trying to go forward here. And oh my goodness. Wow. That's... The best scramble I saw that front nine. That was insane. That is something special. The gap that he had was inches. Oh, and even that shot, that's a great shot, yes. too. That was, that was pinched with a small gap right in front of him and got up there. Right, Bone's going to give this all he's got because that's so uh -huh. uphill. The it camera is. doesn't do it justice. Yeah, he gave it everything and is still very short. I, if, uh, <laughs> if I'm right on my count, I think he's tapping in for par, too, which would be great. Considering he was in the in the rough on the first shot. Yep. Isaac yep. for seven, seven there. Yep. Yeah. That this hole will get you real quick. Oh. oh, that's a good catch and not a bad bogey. I mean, his second shot advanced twenty five feet, maybe. Yeah. Get, get single bogey there is great considering the hole's averaging 5.9. And that is an insane par. That uh, is a heck of a par. <laughs> that's Bones. some uh that's some fortitude too, man. That's you start getting in those places and it gets it gets tougher. Yeah, he's looking back at the cap like, "Wow, <laughs> how did I do that?" Uh yeah, for real. <laughs> well, there you have it. Front nine in the books, young Landon Carver currently leading the card. Lots of disc golf to play, though. Coop, what can we expect in the back nine? Boy, I think we're we're going to see some more uh, more challenging holes coming up. The course is only going to get harder as we get going. So see if these guys can stay under par or even push a little bit further down or stay even be pretty good. See what they can yep. do through the woods here. Yep, it's going to get a lot more difficult. Make sure you come on back for the back nine and watch the action unfold.
Another shout out to all the sponsors, BKS, Artisan Ales, Peck Disc, Dynamic Disc Kansas City, Kevin Simpson, Bob Goodwin, Quentin Shaw, Dan Bells, and our title sponsor, Underpar. And if you have not subscribed to the YouTube, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye now. Yeah!